Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about edges and how to find them on Google Earth. Now deer are creatures of edge, so what that means is they prefer areas where two types of habitat come together, or even better, multiple types of habitat are in the same area. So finding edges is really important when we're scouting, and if you can find several edges that you want to check out in person before you get to a property, it can be really helpful. So let's jump into Google Maps and we'll show you how it's done. When we're looking for edge habitat, what we're looking for is differences in color as well as texture on the satellite imagery. In this example, one of the first places that pops out are these agricultural fields right here. Very easy to see. We can even see the lines created by the tractor, those straight lines, and you can definitely tell the difference between these ag fields and this clear cut over here to the right, which is you know, just a dark brown piece of ground that was probably cut right before this picture was taken. So of course, these ag fields and this clear cut are going to create edge habitat. Over here, we can see these dark green patches of trees uh, and the surrounding trees, you can see that they're all brown. So these, the satellite imagery was taken in the fall or, or winter after the leaves had fallen. So these green patches are obviously going to be pines and we can clearly see the edge that those pine trees create where they meet these hardwoods. Now, when I say texture, I mean, you can see that there's a clear difference between, you know, a dense patch of pine trees like these up on the upper left and these open ones down here on the bottom. And if we look a little bit closer at these, you can see that you, ha you have this more open area here, and then here, and then here, on, both on the left and right of it, you have uh, more densely uh, packed in trees. An edge is created between your dense woods here and your open woods in the middle, and then more dense woods, so right there and right there you have an edge that is worth checking out. Another thing that could create an edge is if you see that there is water present. So right here we have a creek that runs. You can see the water here and that creek is running down through here and anytime you have the presence of water like that it's going to create a different habitat and that's going to create an edge. Let's say that your the area you're hunting is looks like this, just all brown, looks very uniform. One thing that you can do is go, go uh, download uh, Google Earth Pro. It's the desktop version, and that's going to have historical imagery. If you can find uh, you know a recent image, but maybe last year or something like that, that shows. Uh, Full, full color uh, where the leaves are, are still in the trees, Th then you'll see some different shades of colors that will tell you where different types of uh, trees are. And of course those would create an edge. If that's still not the case, um, again, looking at creeks and then here you can see that there's just these real slight differences in here. Those, that's just enough an edge to concentrate deer movement. And if you have to, you'll just have to walk through here just to see, uh, again, what we're looking for is, you know, new growth versus open hardwoods, you know, the, that denser new growth coming into the open hardwoods, that edge, uh, poplars, an area that's mostly poplars, uh, meeting meeting up against an area that's mostly oaks. That's another good example of an edge. Any type of slight change like that is enough to concentrate deer movement. All right, so how would you go about scouting an area like this? First thing I would do is look for the area that has the most varieties of habitat. And I think that's this first area here. Another, another good example before we jump into how to scout is right here where we have that an area that was um, recently cut versus an area that still has standing timber and 
you can very clearly see this hard edge created here. Definitely worth checking out. All right, so once you find an area that has a good variety of habitat, that's an area that you want to spend some time scouting on the ground. And an effective way to do that is to just walk the, you know, these edge lines that we found. So starting here, if, you know, these, especially if these are planted in something that is a desirable food source, we're going to walk this edge, look for deer sign, look for trails entering all these agricultural fields, walk the edge of these pine trees. You know, this could be a place where deer are bedding and have easy access to their food. Same thing here. Just going to walk this edge. You don't have to go deep into, into here. Just walk the edge, look for sign, look for old rubs, things like that. You know, one spot like, like this would be a great place to look for rubs or old scrapes, especially if these are cedars. Uh, bucks love to rub cedar trees, so keep an eye out for that. And if that is the case and you're finding it, you know, that could be a really good spot um, to hunt in October, especially if these hardwoods uh, have oak trees in them which will have acorns, which is a great food source. So that, that can be a, an excellent hunting spot. So what we're going to do, we're just going to walk these edges, look for sign, look for deer trails. And then once we have all that information, we're going to start putting the puzzle pieces together and be able to pick out, you know, at least, you know, a dozen or so different hunting spots that, that we can uh, go to depending on the wind direction. All right, so there you have it. Those are the basics you need to know to find edges on Google Maps. And in the next video, we're gonna be posting Aaron and Ethan from the Hunting Public are gonna be going out scouting an area to find a spot to hunt on opening day. One of the spots they are keying on is the edge of a bean field. So you can learn a little bit more in that video coming up. So stay tuned.